You ready? Ready. You sure? Yeah. Hey there, this is Jay from Merge Media for another Minute Monday. Thanks for joining us. Today, we're talking about how to nurture a Facebook lead. A lot of businesses out there don't know how to manufacture a lead and turn it into a sale. What they do is they run a Facebook lead gen campaign, they get the lead, it sits there in Facebook ads manager for a period of days, and then they finally follow up, but by the time that happens, the lead is ghosted. The retention for somebody on Facebook to remember your ad is a very short time period, so if you don't get back to them super quick, you're gonna lose that lead. But let me get into it here. So, one, first thing you need to have are advisors ready on your end. So if you're running a Facebook lead gen campaign, spending upwards of 100 bucks a day, um, generating potentially 25 to 50 leads, if you don't have the resources on your end to nurture those leads and, and, and call them back, then you're gonna run into a bit of an issue. We've had issues where we've been sending businesses too many leads that the representative on their end is just overwhelmed. Next, number two, response rates. If you don't get back to those leads coming through Facebook within 15 minutes to 30 minutes, then you're slowly reducing your chances of converting them into a sale. So if you have somebody on staff that's able to handle those leads that are coming in and can get back to them really quickly, that helps a lot. Connect your Facebook leads with Zapier. Um, if you're not familiar with Zapier, Zapier is a platform that helps you shoot over leads from Facebook Ad Manager directly to your email or right into your CRM. If you don't have Zapier set up, what's gonna happen is you're gonna manually have to go into Facebook Ads Manager and download those leads. It's gonna become quite time consuming and by the time you know you actually have a lead sitting there in your Facebook Ad Manager, it could be one or two hours or days before you even know. Text message follow-up. So you can either set up Facebook Messenger or there's platforms out there that you can use to set up automatic SMS or text messages. In that case there, that's super effective. Even if you send over a direct text message after they become a lead, telling that user that they can expect to receive a call in five minutes, 10 minutes, that can be quite effective in terms of warming up that lead prior to that callback. Number four, demographics. So when you go and contact those leads, you should have a very specific set of questions that you wanna to use to pre-qualify those potential customers. You're gonna to wanna to gather some insight from the demographics of those people that are calling you back their ages, where they're living, their occupations. These are some key questions that you can use to funnel right back into that top of funnel audience that you're using to target those leads in the first place. Thanks a lot for listening to this Minute Monday, and we'll see you next week.